Have you ever experienced double vision, but just in one eye? Or maybe a shadow or a backdrop or a stretched image? Now this is called monocular diplopia, and it's actually really common. And so in this video, I wanna go over the top five reasons why this might happen and how you can fix it. Let's focus in. Now, binocular diplopia is when you see double vision with both of your eyes open. Now, a lot of cases, this usually involves neurological issues or problems with the eye muscles. Now, monocular diplopia is when you still see that double vision when you cover either eye. So if you see double vision in this eye or you see double vision in this eye and you wanna make sure that you check both, this is monocular diplopia. If you cover either eye and your double vision goes away, then chances are you have binocular diplopia. Now with monocular diplopia, it usually doesn't involve neurological or muscle issues, but more optical issues or how your eyes are actually refracting or focusing the light to the back of your eye. And number one, and probably the one of the most common reasons for this is astigmatism. Astigmatism is a very common refractive error, like being nearsighted or farsighted. Now, astigmatism sounds horrible. It's one of the worst words ever made, but usually it involves the curve of your eye. It just means that one portion of your eye is a little bit more curved, and so it bends light a little bit differently. It focuses light and may stretch lights out. And you might have noticed this maybe at nighttime, if you look at a street light, that light might have stars or the light might be stretched a little bit. This could be from astigmatism. Now, luckily this can all be detected with an eye exam and usually is correctable with glasses or contact lenses. Also with astigmatism, people might look at a text or they're reading something on the screen or their book and they might notice there might be a double or backdrop or shadow of that text. And this is super common with astigmatism. Now, if you wanna learn more about astigmatism, you can check out my full video about astigmatism in the description. Number two is actually an eye condition called keratoconus. Keratoconus is actually an eye disease where the cornea of the eye might cone out. You'll have an abnormal cornea shape, and this can actually cause abnormal astigmatism. And just like with astigmatism, it'll cause a ghost image coming off of the main image. And with keratoconus, it may cause multiple images coming off the main image. And so people might see ghost images coming from different directions and can make night vision extremely difficult with multiple ghost images and stretched images coming from that main image. Now, keratoconus is something that can be diagnosed with an eye exam, usually with a topography where your eye doctor might take a map of your cornea to see how curved it is to see if there's a cone shape to that cornea and with that topography you can actually get contact lenses that can actually give you or provide you with some great vision i actually did some more in-depth videos about the vision of keratoconus and what best contact lenses there are for keratoconus and i'll put that in the description as well Number three, another condition that can disrupt the light being focused into your eye, and that's cataracts. Cataracts take place in the crystalline lens of the eye right behind the iris. And as light passes through the pupil, if that light hits part of that opacification or that cataract, it'll either be blocked or scattered, causing that double image. Now, there are many different types of cataracts that can cause a little bit different symptoms, but definitely a double image or distorted image or blurry edges to an image is definitely one of the bigger symptoms of cataracts. Now, unfortunately, there is a limitation to how much glasses or contact lenses can correct the image or correct the vision when you have cataracts. Usually, the only way to actually fully correct it is to get rid of the cataract through a cataract surgery. Number four, and this one can actually be a little bit more rare, but sometimes changes to the retina or the tissue in the back of the eye can also cause a double image distorted image. Now, there are many different conditions that can change the tissue of the retina that can cause this double vision or this weird backdrop distorted vision. One common one is macular degeneration that can definitely cause different types of symptoms. Another one is called macular pucker or an epiretinal membrane. This is where the tissue of the back of the eye, the inner limiting membrane can actually become wrinkled and as it becomes wrinkled, it can pull or stretch or wrinkle up the tissue of the macula causing weird distortions in the vision or sometimes a double vision look. 
Now, depending on the type of condition, you definitely want to go in for your eye exam so you know what's causing this type of symptom so you can be treated properly. Now, in the case of macular pucker, they actually have a surgery called an epiretinal membrane peel where they can go and actually peel that wrinkled tissue off to try and help those symptoms, try and help the vision. Now, there is a little bit of a risk involved with this surgery, so it all depends on your doctor, but yeah, definitely go in for your eye exam. Make sure that the back of your eye is okay. Now, number five, and this might be the more surprising one, dry eye. Now your tear layer, the tear film on the front of the eye, the cornea, is the first layer that light hits to be refracted or focused to the back of the eye. Now if your tear layer isn't adequate enough, if it's being evaporated too fast, then the light that hits your eye will be focused differently and you could get that double vision image. And this one might be a little bit more common than you'd think. In fact, I'll have a lot of patients that will come in, say they have this weird ghosting image or a double image and we'll find out, hey, they actually don't even have astigmatism or at least not that much. Everything else about their eyes look healthy except for the front of their eyes might be dry. Now for more detail about how dry eyes can cause blurry vision and also what you can do about the dry eyes, check out this video right here where I go into more detail. I'm Dr. Neil Gaiman, Dr. Eye Guy. Stay focused.